Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum and greetings, Ali Jan Mo here and welcome back to more RC video review. So you want to get into FPV flying but you don't want to spend too much to get your first experience. Well don't worry, I will suggest you go for something sitting right here. Let's take a closer look at this little blue shark, a complete FPV bundle which is a little FPV whoop and of course we'll charge the battery and give it a flight right away inside our house and see how much fun we can have with it. This is Maker Fire Shark, a mini FPV whoop or a, a tiny FPV whoop, uh, which you can fly worry free inside your house. It has everything. This is a complete ready to fly package, complete ready to fly bundle. It even has a video goggles, a tiny small video goggles that I worry will fit on bigger faces or not. But anyway, this still is a complete bundle, ready to fly, FPV whoop with everything, battery, charger and a video goggles as well. Key features of this little FPV whoop is it has FPV and video goggles. It has one key return to home. Now who who in his or her uh, right mind would like an FPV whoop to return back home using a compass based completely untrustable uh, return to home uh, feature? Yeah, I, I'm just confused about that. Anyway, uh, it has a 4-axis uh, gyro, it has a speed control, it has a 360 roll, that means you can flip forward and backward, and it has a headless mode. Now, once again, who uh, in his or her right mind would like to fly an FPV VU or FPV quadcopter in headless mode? Right. Uh, it has a 2.4 GSZ radio and it is safe to fly around people because it has a ducted fans or ducted propellers. Well, that makes it a safe little FPV whoop to fly. Still, I would suggest don't get it stuck to your face because the spinning propellers still can cause some damage. So don't actually fly closer to the faces of people. All right. Enough said, let's take it outside the box and get it ready for flight and see what kind of fun we can have with it. Uh, mini FPV whoop with everything. This is how it comes inside the box. It has a little mini shark quadcopter, a radio control, uh, you have a little goggles right here and of course you have and of course you have accessories like a little bit of stickers, foamy stickers for your goggles, USB uh, to charge your video goggles, antenna for your video goggles, you have wet and dry wipes to wipe your uh, uh, no, to wipe your uh, video goggles lenses <laughs> <laughs> not wipe something else and you have stickers uh, you know teeth and eyes stickers uh, propellers spare propellers a screwdriver and a USB dongle to charge the battery for your mini quadcopter all right let's fly the Megafire blue shark this little FPV whoop designed for beginners we have uh, goggles ready uh, batteries are charged for the quadcopter and we have radio ready. But before we fly, let me tell you one of the biggest issues for beginners is the throttle control. They either give too much throttle and climb up fast, get scared and cut down on the throttle really quick and fall, bump the ground and crash. So throttle control is a big issue for beginners. This is not the case for this little Blue Shark FPV whoop because this one has a built-in barometer that provides you altitude hold and that is why you can see that the both of the sticks are spring-loaded even the throttle side mode 2 is a spring-loaded it's in the center that means you can leave the stick and your quadcopter will hold its altitude that makes it very very beginner friendly quadcopter and beginners will have a lots of fun flying it because it takes care of the altitude hold for them and beginners can simply fly it around by steering it around the house focus on enjoying the FPV and that is why this Megafire Blue Shark is going to be the beginner's next best friend. 
Enough said, let's fly it. I have also set up my Ishin VR D2 Pro right there on the table so that we can record using a DVR what I see inside these goggles through this camera. And you can also have fun watching what I'm watching while I fly FPV with the Maker Fire Blue Shark. And here are the goggles. All right, I look good, big belly. Hey, uh, the video quality, I mean the clarity, is not very, very clear. It's not as clear as the Ishin VR D2 Pro or the other video goggles I have. But hey, once again, we are talking about the beginner package. And this is actually more than enough in this price and in this category. All right. Where is it? I'm blind. I'm blind. All right. <laughs> Okay, uh, let me turn the quadcopter to this side and just press the auto takeoff button. There you go. And let's fly around. Y'all is kind of like way too locked in and once you move it, it starts moving and then locks in. Stuff there. But altitude hold is actually doing miracles here. <laughs> Uh oh, way too low, way too low. Altitude hold is doing miracles here and controls are really easy to fly through this little obstacle course I have put in here. Uh oh, I crashed, I crashed. No, we are still flying. We are still flying. Going through the table again. Wow, the, the stability in this quad comfort is amazing. It's really stable. And... I mean, the altitude hold is actually superb, and this definitely helps beginners a lot. I mean, it, it takes care of flying for you, you know? There's my big Icon A5. I can eat, actually land on the wing. You want to see it again? Right here. That's the Icon A5. I have a very good video, flight video of this Icon A5 on my channel that you might want to go and watch. Oh man, this altitude hold is simply amazing here and makes it really, really easy to fly this quadcopter. And that's what I'm saying. This is a totally uh, beginner friendly quadcopter and beginners are going to have a lot of fun flying FPV and enjoying FPV actually. Uh oh uh oh we're having trouble. Yeah the the other the only issue that I think will be is that because of the barometer once you hit something the quadcopter might wanna bite back just like that and you have to press the emergency stop button. Let me go pick it up. Alright, let's take off and let's try to fly a little faster. Oh, that was nice. Oh, that was even nicer. Went through the table, went through the chairs, coming back very close to my face, right under my nose, my chin. Uh-oh, what did I hit? Where am I? Under the table, I think. Alright, back to flying. Under the chairs. Still flying. Uh-oh, we landed. Looks like we ran out of battery. Well, how many minutes fun was that? I believe Maker Fire, that's where you have to focus on. We need more flight time, because if I'm a beginner, and I just started to get the hang of this quadcopter and I ran out of battery. Now I have to put it on that USB dongle you provided and wait for 45 minutes maybe to charge it. Mm -mm. You got to increase the flight times on this. Apart from that, what a superb little quadcopter. Let me charge the batteries because I'm not done yet. Let me get back to it.
like button. It's right there. I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button. Right there. Come on, don't be shy. Just hit it. Thank you very much for all your support towards my work that I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button. Right